Hi guys, I'm Big Man. I'm Small Frack. And I'm Sunday. And we're, and we're Boots. 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 And we are here at Halloween Horror Nights in Universal Orlando on opening night. We're taking around, show you the treats, show you the scares. Follow us. Don't forget to like our content, like and subscribe. And now we're here to look at the merchandise. Are these socks? I think these are socks. That's awesome. The shirt is awesome. And it's only $28. I think a lot of them are. Oh, this one's 32. They range around there. Small fries getting involved with the merchandise. <laughs> That's awesome. How much is this? Twenty dollars. That seems unnecessary. since Wednesday, all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know, not a fan. I'm surprised you're really looking forward to this, but not a fan. No, I don't like it. I hate it. Save one more. All right, we'll
Yes, it would. at the waffle last year but they were closed at like five o'clock every day mm -hmm. that one like the san francisco bakery <laughs> yeah there you go that's where yeah that one <laughs> so they had the same like stranger things stuff they had from last year but then they have a couple new items as well one being this just says hhn pie i don't know exactly what it's about it's got uh, i don't know an eyeball and a chicken wing on it i, don't know <laughs> I, I think the, the girl in there she called it an acid pie and i was like i guess so all right it was probably on acid from the look of it <laughs> And then we got this Frankenstein whoopie pie, which is awesome. He's so cute. Bolts. Yeah. All right, sure. we're gonna try first. Try this pie. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the pie. It doesn't look like it's actually a pie. It looks like a tart. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be creepy if you did that and it went out? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. Ooh, I think it's like a lemon tart. Yeah. No, 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 it's a lemon pie. This is a tart. I don't know why they called it a pie. So it's totally a pie. This is absolutely a pie. And they cannot get the crust. I'm going last this whole video. Let oh, have their no! Opinions. <laughs> you always make small fries feel so good when you do that. Oh, look at that face of enjoyment. What are you shoving that at me for? Have you... Okay. Listen, guys. Have you ever, like... Eating some really bad like lemon fruit snacks. <laughs> That's what this pie tastes like. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like it's, when you first bite it, you're you're like, oh okay, it's cool, it's got a nice texture, and you're waiting for the lemon, but the lemon never comes. It's like I mean it is lemony, but it's like a sad lemon. Yeah. It's not bad. Here's the deal, it's only five dollars. So like it's a nice, neat little treat. It's interesting. I and would probably buy you it. Cannot get this yeah, you yeah. you, you can't. I mean, it's the same with Disney. It won't. It tastes like how I'd imagine... I think my fork broke. It tastes like how I'd imagine cleaning product would. No, that's not lemon cleaning product taste. We had but that. Yeah, that's true. Oh, no. But it, like, it is still neat. Yeah, I, I like the effort they put into it, even if it kind of tastes funny. True. Sure. Right, let's try this whoopie pie. It definitely looks cool. Why is it called whoopie pie? I don't know. People whoopie while they make it? <laughs> Ah, uh, took his eye. Oh, poor Frankie. The part is I like this one. It's yummy. That's yeah. very tasty. The brownies are good. And the filling is yummy. Yeah, what's the thick cold stuff under the cookie? I don't know. I just call it the filling. I have no idea. Yeah. It's yummy though. Not the green stuff, but over the green stuff. There's another layer there. Ooh, yeah. It's like a little more solid. Let's like pull this up. I just see green stuff. There's nothing in there. Yeah, no, you're just you're just seeing things. It's maybe crazy. it's just maybe it's just the edge. Either way, that's still delicious. No, I'm yummy. Uh, I like no, that. I guess it is the green stuff. The, it's tasty. The acid yeah. pie should be called ass pie. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Um, but I, li I like this. This is neat and has a really good flavor to it. I don't know, because they say that millennials eat ass, and I wouldn't eat that. Yeah. The brownies are nice and moist. The filling is nice, cool. You could cool Creamy. off a slight bit on a hot day with this. It's not like overly, <laughs> cool off, cool off not really overly sweet, which is nice. You could. Yeah, it's nice and balanced. I like that. Okay, I, I gotta say, up. my filming was a little crooked there. Huh? It's because, people, I picked up a knife. I'm going at the the knife won't cut through it. <laughs> wow. Yes, yeah, so that's not exactly good. The blue will be by tasty. Yeah, get the whoopie pie. Avoid that weird eyeball cake. Ass cake. So sad. Alright. Going in to see the sweaty yetis. Yeti! Yeah. 
Honestly, I'm not afraid. It's just his cousin. Now we're making your cousin too. Yeah. Fair. But he has more resemblance. Yeah. All right. We'll see you on the other side. All right, we've got some s'mores fries. This like might be huh. sweet potato fries with yeah. marshmallows and, and graham chocolate. crackers and chocolate. Yeah, it smells really good. Yeah. Um, now I think they're only available here at the little like Woody Woodpecker like cafeteria thing over by ET. It's right next to the SpongeBob shop. All right. <laughs> you don't need none of that. They're stale. Uh -huh. I think Big Mac likes them. What do you think, Tom Brian? I think they're okay. I like sweet potato fries. Do I like them with chocolate? No, I don't think so. They're all right. Yeah. Man. Okay, let's hop. I'm not gonna. Uh, write a letter to anybody saying about how great they are, but I, they also don't make you want to throw up either. So. Yeah, I like them. I think they're tasty. How much were they? Uh, 1064. Okay. I don't think they're 1064 tasty, but they're good. They're very hot. They're very, they're hot and fresh. There are no complaints there. These are brand new. So we've also done a couple houses. Okay, I got another one in the middle and it was a lot tastier. Oh, so yeah. maybe it was just the one on the edge that was kind of yucky. It's a lot better in the middle. Alright, I think we should hold off. You guys are all orange in this light. Let's wait till we move. We got, and we'll just, talk about. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. So we'll, get back. we'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we did four houses. Yetis, Killer Clowns, Graveyard Games and Universal Monsters. Let's start with Yeti. <laughs> For the record, only we did Killer Clowns. Well, he did Killer Clowns on employee night. I'm the only one that didn't do Killer Clowns. Um, so uh, Yeti was cool. I wish that they had been a little more dedicated because it's supposed to be in like the tundra and they had a little fake snow falling, but it's not cold. Make it cold. It's not like it's not hot in those Yeti costumes. I'm sure the people working there would appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and from what Big Mac said, on employee night, the, the snow was kind of going the whole way through. Yeah. And tonight, it was just at the entrance. All right, All right yeah. next up, Killer Clowns. Um, Killer Clowns is enjoyable. It's a fun house. It's yeah. not scary, but it's entertaining. I mean, it's a little scary if you don't like clowns. I don't like clowns, so I was a little freaked out, but I did okay. They literally said everything I was going to say, so... Also, there's a part where you go into cotton candy, like, I don't know, tomb or whatever. <laughs> and when you first walk in, it smells like cotton candy and it's really nice. But when you're towards the end, it just smells like insulation and it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> and graveyard games? I didn't really like that house. It's not very coherent unless you're like doing the app thingy, but even then it's still not super great. And also it's very loud. There's it is very loud. There's lots of unnecessary screaming, so I had to walk through like plugging my ears. I like it, but also, but you're right, some of it just doesn't make sense. It's kind of weird. Like the scene, okay, the scene with all like the ghosts and like the kids, I don't quite understand that. You have to do the thing on the app and use the messenger for ramps to tell you the stories. Yeah. Having okay. Done that extensively, I like the house, but you really do. You have to do that. You have to explore everything in that to really get. That yeah. House. So if you don't do it, it's kind of boring. Yeah. You're just yeah. Like, what's happening? And I would just like to say, in case the struts get told, Poots Foods had their music oh, in yeah. the background. I don't have any money. You can sue me all you want. Yeah, but I would like you to know that this man 
loves you yes, and do. wants to buy your coats. So don't hit him with a copyright strike, then he can't buy your coats. <laughs> All right, and finally, Universal Monsters. I like that one. Loved it. There was a lot of detail put into that house. It's very thorough. I really it enjoyed good. it. Yeah. I only have one issue. And this is going to sound like the stupidest comment ever. But I did not see the Invisible Man. <laughs> Where was he? That sounds like a very serious complaint. I hope It do. is, and we better take that one to the top. I think I love the Universal Monsters house. I was yeah. looking forward to it. If I want to say that I have a complaint, my complaint is that you are right. They took so much dedication, care. Into that house. Why isn't it throughout the entire event? Yeah. yeah. You need to put the same effort you put into that house into everything. Yeah. 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 There was a lot, a lot of thought to detail put into that house. All right, Big Mac. What would you like to say about this year's cup situation? All right, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I got some complaints on these cups. Usually when it does complaining, so here we go. First of all, in previous years, you had like a, a cup for the Coca Cola freestyle machines for free good fear pass holders. You buy the cup, and every day of your of your free good fear pass, you get free refills. That's not forever, it's just during the event. But it's a nice deal, and it's great to do that for your people, people who are coming here a lot. Yeah, and I mean, I know he doesn't like this, but back in your, we'll call it your youth, since as you say, you're an old man. I'm an old geezer. You did work a job at a convenience store. Yes, I did. So you know, Many at one particular franchise convenience store, how much does soda cost? Oh, so let's just say a we'll costy it, store. We'll just call it a double gulp for the sake of not naming names. Yeah. Um, usually around like four to five cents. Okay, I so mean, it's expensive, and you're talking like ten to twelve, but that's absurd. Okay, so people, I want you to think about the vastness of Universal and the fact that they have a contract with Coke and these freestyle machines. How much do you think every one of your sodas really cost them? Yeah, because like the idea. So the cups now, you buy the cup, which is eighteen dollars. And they say if you want to drink all day, you pay ten dollars. Well, now add that up for your frequent fare pass. Yeah. Now even if you're charging me less on other days, like yeah, let's say we do it for five dollars. If I come ten nights to the event, I'm spending like a hundred dollars in a cup, next to thirty of what it used to be. Yeah. That's a big increase. I now, think and a big inconvenience too. I think it's, it's shameful. So I think they're being way too greedy when it comes to this particular subject. Yeah. And it's not only just that. It's more expensive. It's the fact that if, like, I come in and saw the freaking fair pass holder cup was, let's say, fifty dollars, that would be annoying because it'd be like, wow, that's a price, a, a price hike. But it would be okay. We'll pay that. And we're good. Instead of having to come in and charge it every time. Now you're just inconveniencing me. So charging me more, and I'm kind of hassled. Yeah. Not that we're in any way. I mean, if you like the cups, by all means, pick one up. This you don't have up. to add the freestyle uh, yeah. uh, option. You don't. And the beer cup, yeah, they uh, got you on this one this year, maybe too. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll have to review our old footage. But I'm pretty sure last year, if you got a, a souvenir cup for the beer, your beer refills were like $1 less. It wasn't a significant difference, but it was something small. And if you're someone that enjoys beer, every yeah, little bit of savings is, is a good yeah, thing. exactly. So this year, a beer without a souvenir cup is $10, and a refill with a souvenir cup is $10. So why would I want to carry a cup around everywhere? I don't want to do that. I don't mind that too much because uh, the cup itself, when you first get it, is fourteen dollars. So I feel like you're just yeah. So you're, they're not ripping you off. I know. We, bucks for your cup to take yeah, on that one, we're not saying that it's like that. The, the soda one is a big rip off. We're not saying that the beer one is a rip off. But what we're saying is, since you're no longer saving money, yeah. yeah. There's no point. I have less incentive to buy the cup. Right. You're, there's no point to be buying the cup and looking to bring it back like people would and get refills. Right. Because, again, like he said, why do I want to carry this cup around when I'm going to pay the same amount of money yeah. as if I just walk up, buy the beer, and then I throw away the cup and I'm not carrying anything? So then I'm just stuck holding the cup. Yes. All right. So what was your favorite item? Food? Yeah. Yes. Um, the little blue pie. The whoopie pie? Yeah. The Frankenstein whoopie pie? Frankenstein. That was so yummy. I love the s'more fries. She stole mine. <laughs> stole it. Yeah, I really like those s'more fries. I thought they were good and they were made fresh to order. Like, I had no complaints. I gotta say, 
since they didn't like it, I ended up eating the whole HHN pie, as they're calling it, the lemon tart. Oh, yeah. Um, the filling, it, it's not bad at all. It's a nice lemony filling. I think what they've done, there are certain doughs that are just never meant to be, like, frozen. And they probably... And are. I think they have just chilled this particular item too much, which has made the crust tough and chewy. If it, if it wasn't, the crust wasn't like that, it's really not that bad. That's my opinion. I'm allowed to have my opinion. You're allowed to have your opinion. It's America. <laughs> All right, what item... And I already know what's coming. What is the one item the three of you, I'm pretty sure, agree on this, that you would tell people, hell no, avoid this? Disgusting barf bag bacon. Yeah. You know, and the thing was, like, I was so excited when I saw chocolate dip bacon. I'm like, that sounds fantastic. But then I ate it, and it was horrible. Yeah, they put, like, bacon on ice cream and they, stuff before. And that's good. So, yeah. It's, so it's I feel real. like bacon Bing, and... Cupcakes, delicious. Yeah, bacon and sweetness is not a bad, like, combination, but it's just, like, old, weird, <laughs> old, old weird bacon, yep. bacon that they have dipped in Oreo frosting, and they're like, yeah, yeah, go sunny. <laughs> it was so I think nasty. it was, like, the Oreo frosting you get, like, out of a, a frosting container, yeah, not like they, yeah. not like they tried Oreo filling to make up their own frosting, because it had a weird plastic it aftertaste to it. it yeah. not good. did not taste good at all, guys. Like generic Oreo. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was flat nasty. They called the switch room. They were just like, hey, sauce that comes with bacon. And then they were like, is this piece of garbage? Yeah. <laughs> like now, disgusting. there are still food items for us to try. Yeah. I there know. There certain things they didn't have tonight. Special cupcakes, I think yeah. some sandwiches that we're going to have. Big not Mac yet. and Sunday will definitely be back. Small Fry, as we have told you, has started going to school. And unfortunately, school is not free. So on the weekends, yeah, so weeknights she's in school, and on the weekends she's working. So I don't have days off. We will, <laughs> we will try to have her back. In fact, uh, we did say we would be going to food and wine, and we are hoping that Big Mac... We'll get out of bed early enough that Small Fry can join us for that. Big Mac hasn't slept in three days. Well, then you'll have a lot of rest before we go back to food and wine, and you'll be able to get up in the morning. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you much, guys. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Don't forget, follow your dreams. We'll see you in the next fight. And watch out for flying alligators. And as a reminder, is it next week when we will be pulling names for our Disney oh, yeah. giveaway? Um, it's going to be like September 14th. We're going to pull for our giveaway. And then just send us your address. You will receive your prizes.